All right, breaking news. Houston police say a man has died after getting into a shootout with officers on the east side overnight. The man was firing a gun outside a home on Lane Street near McCarty about one this morning. Our reporter Courtney Fisher has been there all morning long, joins us live now with an update. Courtney. Good morning, Tom. The police chief says that the man's stepfather was in the house while the stepson was firing shots nearly six hours later, and they are still out there investigating. You see that police tape up. The chief says that the stepfather was afraid his stepson would kill him, which is why he didn't come out. Officers initially arrived around 1240 this morning. They say after the man called 911 and could be heard in the background firing his gun, the chief says the man told dispatchers, I'm reloading my piece and I I'm coming for you. When officers arrived, the man was allegedly shooting on the front lawn randomly. The chief says he would not drop to the gun, went to the backyard and kept shooting. When officers thought he fired at them, they fired. The man shot and died in his own front lawn. Police say it's not clear if he was hit by an officer's bullet or if he shot himself. Well, the stepdad told me that he was awakened uh, by the gun sounds of gunshots from the suspect. Uh, he said he did not come out because he was in fear of the suspect. Said this, according to the stepdad, he had a had a problem with uh, with some uh, temper issues and some anger management issues, and uh, had, could be violent. The man's name and his age have not been released. For now, reporting live, Courtney Fisher, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Today, we expect to learn the governor's next phase to reopen Texas. A news conference is scheduled for 2.30 this afternoon in Austin. Under the first phase, retail stores were allowed to reopen this past Friday with curbside service only. The state's stay-at-home order is set to expire Thursday, April 30th. We'll send an alert through the ABC 13 mobile app when today's announcement is made. Also happening today, Harris County's mask mandate starts. Anyone in public will have to cover their face or face a $1,000 fine, potentially. ABC 13 reporter Charlie at City tells us where we can find some free masks. Charlie? Hey, good morning to you, Erica. Well, the good news here is there are several locations across the Houston area that are going to be distributing these masks today, including where we're at right now, Tejano Center on the southeast side. They're going to start at 8 o'clock this morning, but check out that line. It's already a line forming out here. And so today, that mask order for Harris County is going into effect, and it says that if you are over the age of 10, you must be wearing a mask out in public. So here are some options. We're putting them up on the screen for you. If you are on the northwest side of town starting at 9 a.m., you have three different community centers where you can go to get a mask. They're all listed right there for you on your screen. And on the south side at 11 a.m., Mount Hebron Baptist Church going to be distributing at 9 a.m. on the east side of town, Community Family Center. And up in Atascacita starting at 1 p.m., Rosewood Funeral Home going to be handing out some masks. And today is the day when the order goes into effect for Harris County. I know we've been telling you about this for several days now. And it's so important to note that you can actually use a bandana a handkerchief, a scarf to make a homemade mask. So don't feel pressured to come out here and wait in these long lines. If you have that at home, you can use that. Just make sure you're washing it with hot water and soap in between uses and drying it out completely. Now you must make sure if you're over 10 years old, you're out in public, both your mouth and your nose are completely covered up. The reason for this, according to our health professionals, is we need to stop the spread of germs between each other as much as possible. And take a listen to what Mayor Sylvester Turner had to say when we, when we asked him about how how this is going to be enforced. Uh, we'll just have to, uh, you know, it's about education and awareness. I'm going to assume that if you're not wearing it, you just don't know, and we need to help to uh, make you aware and help to educate you, and that's what we're going to do. You, you, you're probably going to get, instead of getting a citation, you're probably going to get a lecture. All right, and so Judge Lena Hidalgo has said that up to a $1,000 fine could be imposed if you are in violation of this order, but you just heard there Mayor Sylvester Turner and also HPD Chief Art Acevedo says that they're not going to fine people, but instead they're focused on education. A fine will only be implemented as a last resort. From the southeast side, Charlie Ed City, ABC 13, Eyewitness News. 
I'm Jeff Ealing on Galveston Island Seawall, where the beaches are reopened. In fact, they reopened at 6 a.m. and already there are plenty of people out here. Starting today, city beaches will be open from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Pedestrians only, though, joggers, surfers, they can use the beach. You can get in the water, you can fish, and you can swim. But here's the thing. No one is going to be allowed to just set up a beach towel and an umbrella or a little pop-up tent and hang out during that time. We're told that the beach patrol will sweep through the area at 9 a.m. to make sure nobody stays behind. It's just one more step of the process of reopening Texas. They reopened at 6 a.m. and plenty of people are taking advantage of it. Reporting live in Galveston, Jeff Ealing, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jeff. Back here in the city of Houston, they are opening the latest COVID-19 testing site in southeast Houston this morning. And we have TJ Parker there live with an update. TJ. Hey, good morning, Tom. Yeah, this is the sixth drive through testing site here in the city. It's opening up at 1030 this morning here at the Barnett Sport Complex on Fairway in Southeast Houston. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner, along with Councilman Robert Gallegos and Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, will be here this morning to introduce the additional testing site. As of last week, Harris County has more than 5,330 reported cases and 82 deaths of the coronavirus. There are more than 22,806 cases here in Texas with five 193 deaths. This new testing site, of course, is an effort, part of the effort to stop the spread of the virus here in the city and in the county. Again, this new testing site opens up at 1030 this morning. In Southeast Houston, I'm TJ Parker, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Dry Monday, but then the storms will be returning as we get into Tuesday and possibly even lingering into Wednesday morning. For today, clear start to the morning and then we get some clouds. Windy conditions as well, 15 to 20 mile per hour winds. Temperatures today topping out in the mid 80s. A few spots out west in the upper 80s, even some low 90s. We'll hold off on those 90s until the weekend. You'll notice some clouds starting to move through the area. These are the clouds. I'll build a partly cloudy to mostly cloudy sky later on today. There will be a slight threat for some strong, even severe thunderstorms out toward West Texas. And then that threat for strong storms increases and expands into Southeast Texas. We'll see a small chance for a big storm developing late in the day on Tuesday and possibly lingering into Wednesday morning and then most of those storms die down. So Tuesday morning starts off mostly dry. Can't rule out a few showers and then becoming more widespread as we get into the afternoon and evening hours. Most of those showers that first wave tapers off late in the evening and then a second round heavier round of storms starts to move into our area, especially when you wake up on Wednesday morning. Here comes that frontal boundary that front should sneak through here uh, just after sunrise between 8 and 10 a.m. And then by noontime, we'll still be seeing some clouds, but that northerly breeze should help kick out those clouds. And we're looking for a nice cool start to your Thursday morning, a dry one to close out the week. And then here comes the heat that heat ridge builds in for the weekend. And we'll see those temperatures popping back up into the low 90s. Okay, thanks for joining us. Hope you have an amazing day. Our next newscast is at 11 a.m.